Hi and welcome to the show. I'm freezing. This is family friendly. I'm behind bars. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> I can feel the inner peace building inside of me. I can... Hi again. And welcome to 3 Minute John. <laughs> and now, the news. A robot employee fired after the first day. On our show, we've talked many times about robots taking over human jobs and their downsides and upsides to the matter. Damn it, they took her! A California burger chain called Cali Burger. Well, that was the shortest brainstorming session in the world. So we're in California and we're making burgers. Mm. <gasps> burger Cali. No, no, no. Cali Burger recently started using a robot to flip the burgers because they say it's a task that very few people like to do. I personally think it's because the robots don't need healthcare and they don't have a union. Yet. I've been flipping burgers for as long as I can remember. No robot can do the things that I do. <sighs> the robot is called Flippy. Wow. Second shortest brainstorming session. It's made by Mr. Robotics. It can flip 2,000 burgers a day. It has cameras with heat and color sensors that can tell exactly when a burger is done. And it was fired after his first day. <laughs> Girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason for its early retirement is that the rest of the restaurant staff, which is human for now, just could not keep up with Flippy's burger flipping speed. The flipping robot. The robot will be back as soon as they manage to calibrate it to the specific needs of the restaurant because you don't spend $16,000 on a robot and then retire it. And the burger chain say they will install Flippy's in another 50 Cali Burger locations. Oh damn, robots taking over human jobs. Nobody can make a delicious burger the way I do. <laughs> so is your job safe? What kind of jobs will the robots never be able to do? Leave a comment and let me know. Facebook is being a major d Yes, it's a known fact that Facebook doesn't give the slightest teensy wincy little f about your privacy. And this is yet another example of just that. Now, here's what happened. Facebook executives posted on Twitter that they suspended a political data analytics firm called Cambridge Analytica for violating its policies about data collection and retention. First, you would think, wow, way to go, Facebook. You're the best social media. Social media. You're the best social media. But as it turns out, the data breach that Cambridge Analytica made during the 2016 US elections affected almost 60 million US citizens. <laughs> and guess who used Cambridge Analytica for its political campaign? No, not that one. Yeah. No, you. No. It's Trump! <laughs> the horrible thing about this, apart from helping Donald win, it is a disaster, is that it gathered all the 16 million users' data, including likes, status updates, in some cases, private messages, the whole lot. And then using complicated algorithms, every user got profiled and fed content, most of the times fabricated content, in order to manipulate their beliefs. Now that's a whole new level of evil. I mean, even Satan will be like, <laughs> Evil. What's even worse is that Facebook doesn't consider this as being their fault. Wasn't me. Because Cambridge Analytica used third-party apps to collect users' data without their consent on Facebook. And as far as they're concerned, this is not a data breach. <laughs> and the whistleblower that made public the whole thing gave some pretty good advice. Always have a healthy dose of skepticism about everything. <laughs> Best burger in town. There you go. Oh, and Facebook. And congratulations, Mr. Putin, for winning yet another Russian election. I'm sure it was fair and square. Yeah, sure. Apple is making its own displays. Yep, the biggest company in the world is starting to work on making its own micro LED displays. And thus, it won't have to depend on the OLED displays it buys from its rival and nemesis, Samsung. La telenovela especial, tres minutos, Juan. You rotten Apple! Ahora you don't buy displays from me! No, I will make my own. Ah, see? 
Micro LED technology is said to be superior to OLED displays, being thinner, brighter, more energy efficient, and having a better contrast. Samsung already plans to release a modular TV in August that will have micro LEDs and will be called the Wall. Apple will still use Samsung displays in the short term, but it looks like the toxic relationship between the two is coming to an end. Pero que paso? If you cannot make a micro LED, you crawl back to Samsung. No, I will buy from LG. Hijo <gasps> <laughs> de <laughs> La telenovela especial, tres minutos, Juan. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave us a comment below. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. And Facebook. Well, I got fired and replaced by a robot. But I got a new job that's almost the same. And no robot can take it. I'm a surgeon. You're nothing better than... <laughs> Making people better. Well, there's a lot of bowels in there. Oh, sorry. I think I. Nurse! Oh, well.